Hey, thanks ever so much. Um, I wonder whether those three semi-finals, I'm sure they frustrated you, but whether for this group of players as well, it leads to that sort of sense of some unfinished business and that desperation to go a couple of steps further in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, as Axel uh, rightly says, you know, you remember the de defeats more so than the, the wins, and especially semi-finals, you know, you're so close to the, to the final and the big stage, and... Um, we had three of them, we've already had one of them this season. So this group feels hurt, of course, and want to go, go further. Let's talk about Shola Shoratire. A really big night for him. As he came on, Paul Scholes, who's standing next to me, he looked at it and he said, such a shame there's not a full Old Trafford to witness this moment. Because it is a special moment, the youngest ever player for this football club in European competition. Yeah, uh, and Shola, he's got some skills and attributes that we think is going to make a very good player here. And it's a platform, uh, of course, tonight, just 15 minutes. It's something to, to build on, something to remember for him at Old Trafford. Um, but then again, with the fans, they, he would have enjoyed it more because they give you so much more energy uh, than football at the moment. It, it is strange, it is different, but uh, I'm sure we'll, all the fans will, will see him later on. Good man. Robbie's wondering when his son gets an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, he'll get a chance if he does well. You know, <laughs> anyone who signs here, you know, uh, they've got a chance if they if they have the right, uh, right attitude and uh, keep listening to, to the coaches. So, um, Robbie knows. <laughs> Robbie knows. Good, and he's got a good teacher at home as well as at Manchester United. Talk us, talk us through the atmosphere among the group at the moment because the results are looking really good. There's a great confidence. You reacted so well to that defeat by Sheffield United here. Yeah, no, we're, we are a group that's very tight together. You have to be at the moment because there's not a lot else uh, you're doing. And, uh, you know, that's the interaction you have with people. Uh, you come in, you work every day. We've had a few uh, setbacks and knocks, which I've, I've seen some, some players there being... It, it lifts us. It, it wants, we want to go further and... We failed, not failed, but you've, uh, you've failed in three semi-finals. You want to do better and improve, and uh, the culture is really improving. Uh, of course, at the moment, it's a little bit different because the, the coaches are away, but uh, we've got some fantastic experience and some good coaches with us, so uh, uh, it's, it's exciting. I think it's a, it's a group of players that, uh, that will only improve because we're still a young team. And I know it's a group of players that would love to be defined by winning a trophy. You've actually got a really interesting and, from your perspective, exciting few weeks coming up. You've got some big games of football. You've got Leicester in the Cup. They'll want to win that game now they've gone out of the Europa League this evening. So, really, quite a lot may be determined in the next four or six weeks. Yeah, well, now until the international break, I think we've got seven, seven games, six or seven or eight games. And... Of course, you have Chelsea, you have, uh, as you say, Leicester, you have City, so you have massive games, West Ham, all important games in the league, and you've got Palace away, uh, and then who knows who we, we draw. So it's going to be uh, these three or four, or oh, three weeks now, is it? Three, three and a bit weeks until the international break, they're going to be massive for us. But we're in a good place, oh. confidence is good, um, hopefully we'll get a few players back in, and, and uh, the... Dan tonight wasn't too, hopefully not too bad. Yeah, tell us the latest on that. No, he felt a tweak, so uh, we'll have to check on him. Uh, Dan tonight, then Scott, Donny, uh, Edinson. We hope that they can be available for the weekend. I'm not sure. Uh, Paul is still out a few weeks, uh, unfortunately. All right, good man. Well, look, thanks for joining us. And I hear it's a special someone's birthday tomorrow, but... With lockdown, no plans, I imagine. Absolutely no plans whatsoever. What can you do? You just uh, uh, enjoy the day with the, with the team. The, the lads, uh, I, I'm not going to bring you, cake no? in for him. I don't need a cake, so <laughs> I'll, I'll stay away from that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, get in front of BT Sport at midday and we'll try and give you a decent birthday present of a nice draw for the last 16. Yeah, I will, I will. Don't worry, I'll watch it. Top man, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thank you. Cheers. See you later.